Dude, what's up? What's happening? Bringing you another video. And uh, today, uh, I was able to get my hands on this Pache uh, airbrush set. It's uh, actually a VL. So it's right here. VL set uh, number 11535. Uh, it's made in the USA. I don't know much about Pache airbrushes. This is pretty much my first time taking a look at one. Um, so, yeah, let me open this up and uh, we'll take a look what's inside. It's hard to do with one hand. Come on, get out of there. It's sliding, it's sliding, there you go. So, it comes in a nice box. Uh, airbrush lessons for beginners. That's nice that it comes with that. Might be some useful information in there. A lot of them don't come with this. At least my Badgers and my Iwatas never had anything like this. Iwatas come with a few things, but not something like that. Limited warranty and uh, some kind of uh, catalog for their airbrushes. And I guess here we have what it comes with, which is a couple of paint cups. Let's take everything out of here. Uh, some tool. Oh, man, that's really in there. That's nice. Yeah. I guess we just have to unstrap that. So in the box, you get a tool, um, airbrush hanger, which I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about these. You got to kind of mount them on a wall or some kind of flat surface. I don't know. Um, get a hose. Oh, look, there's the cap in there. You get a cap. Uh, you get two cups. You get a cup, a cap with a siphon. You get a big bottle that also has its own siphon. Um, you get a couple extra needles, a couple extra nozzles. From what I understand, these are different sizes from the one that comes in here. These are not all the same, so you're able to change, I guess, how fine or how uh, thick you want to get. Even though, I mean, that's the whole point of having, uh, you know, the dual action is you're supposed to be able to do that on the fly. Um, feels in my hand. It feels a little bit odd because it's so fat. It feels like... I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. It feels odd though. It doesn't feel like my other ones for sure. Um, again, I don't know much about these. This is my first actual one owning one. Um, yeah, depending on what it's good for. Focus on my... Focus! Well, anyway. Depending on what it's good for, you know, I uh, want we'll to see uh, the chrome finish on this does look a lot better than the Badger one. The Badger one, like I mentioned in the video, it kind of has a yellowish uh, tint to it. Um, so this one does seem a little better. Uh, this set uh, retails for about 90 bucks on dickblick.com. And uh, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and hook up some paint in one of these and uh, we'll give it a shot. A couple things to note already. <clears throat> right out of the box, hooking it up. Uh, I don't know if you could hear that, but it's leaking air from this bottom piece here. I don't know if that's bent. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. But I've tried to tighten it down and there's just air leaking in this area. Also, the cord is very short. Um, if you see these other cords, these other cords are what came with my Badgers. 
you know, so they hang all the way down to the ground. This one's not touching the ground, you know. So it's pretty short. If I, if I wanted to paint on this back wall, this, this would not work. So the cord's pretty short. Um, but yeah, let's, I'm gonna try to figure this leak out and then again, I'll get back to painting. So I noticed on this tip, um, you can see it's kind of concave into the needle there. It should make it very hard to pull out dry tips. So if you're working with any kind of acrylic paints or enamels or any kind of thing where the paint's gonna dry on the needle or on the tip, um, it's gonna have a hard time getting it out of there. So you can see the needle barely pokes out, but it, it the nozzle is way down in there. Um, so yeah, it, you might need to pull out a toothbrush or something to get that dry tip out of that. So I've loaded up some Createx Black in the bottles that it comes from. Um, I like the glass bottles because they're easy to clean, at least the glass part is. But this metal piece, um, I don't know, usually I feel like it wears down the inside of your airbrush here and after, you know, inserting and taking them out so long. It kind of, you know, they kind of don't fit as snug in there. So at least to start off, this is pretty good. Um, I did have to adjust the needle right out of the box. So yeah, but I'm gonna, I have this shirt set up. I'm gonna play around with it a little bit, make a quick little t-shirt, and I'll come back and bring you some impressions of what I think about this uh, so far.
All right, so as you can see, um, I'm not sure which needle comes in here out of, out of the box. I think it's the medium one, which is like a three, I think, because this is one, and uh, there's, there's a three. Um, so I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of this Pache, uh, or Pache, Posh, however you pronounce it. Um, airbrush um, the cord I mean there was leaking on both sides on this side and on this side this side's bent which I don't know why um, I do like that they include like a lot of accessories they include you know the different spout and include the bottles they include you know at least somewhere to store it they include a tool different needles and stuff um, right out of the box, though, um, it did not perform very well. Uh, it, it just, I don't know, it doesn't atomize paint, uh, very good. So you get a very thick, heavy spray. Um, so if you're trying to get fine lines or anything like that, where you have to get in kind of close, uh, it doesn't perform quite, quite as good as the Badgers, um, or definitely not the Iwatas. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much where this stands. Um, I mean, I could go back and try these, um, but you know, obviously going with the finer one, it might even make it worse. Um, again, I was shooting Createx through these. If you're using inks or something really, really thin, that probably won't be an issue, you know. But with a, a bottom feed like this, you know, you're probably looking to spray some acrylics, something, you know, with a bigger cup like this. <coughs> um, so. Yeah, the, you know, you're going to have a lot of um, issues trying to get really fine lines and stuff, just as I did. Um, it does spray a nice, thick, you know, coat. Um, you know, so if you're just looking to coat something um, or paint something a small, you know, this would probably do just fine. Um, but again, if you're looking to do fine lines or lettering on shirts or, um, you know, just anything where you have to do fine, finer stuff, this is probably not the airbrush for you. It's for me, I'm going to put it right back up for sale. Um, uh, I actually got this at a deal. I, mean, I, I, I didn't pay uh, retail price. I was able to find this brand new at a garage sale. So, you know, I got a pretty sweet deal on it. And, you know, if you're able to find it at a garage sale, pretty low price, I would recommend, recommend having one. Just so, like, when you don't want to spray something through your good airbrush, you can use this. You know, if you're going to use like a glittery paint or something that you're not really just comfortable using on your regular brush, you know, this one could be a good backup. You don't have to worry about messing it up. It's pretty cheap. Um, but yeah, um, you know, if you're, if you're going to be spraying inks or something really thin, you know, this would probably do just fine uh, for the most part. If you're looking to do t-shirts and like, a, you know, automotive work, or anything where you need, you know, finer control, this is probably not the gun you want. Um, but there you go, that's, you know, my review. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think. You guys, uh, you know, I probably won't do a follow-up or a long-term on this, uh, just because, um, you know, I can't use this. Uh, people will complain, uh, especially the blurry lettering and stuff like that, and, you know, people will be like, hey, that doesn't look quite like your other ones. So, yeah, there you go. That's my thoughts. Uh, if, you know, you want to pick one up, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. I just, that's, that's my thoughts. It's, it would be a good, good beginning airbrush. You know, if you just want to learn how to use airbrush, how to make dagger strokes, how to mix paint and, you know, play around with it. If you're not very serious, then yeah, this would do just fine. But, you know, you really, this picture on the box is very literal. Um, you do have to have some really, really really watered down paint because as soon as you spray anything kind of thicker it, it, and I did try uh, reducing the paint and stuff but I had to reduce it pretty far down to where you know the black would not not really cover or set in good in a shirt so yeah well let me know what you guys think uh, if you like the video hit the like button if you dislike the video hit the dislike button as always uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video later